Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading August 5th to August 11th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump straight away into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the hangman, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the nine of wands. Afterwards, it's going to be the positive aspect of the week and that will be the chariot card. And then the final one that we do have, it is the guidance that you need to, uh, that you need to follow or that you should follow for throughout the week. This is going to be the ten of wands. So it looks like as a major breakthrough happening in this week. Um, what I mean here, Pisces, is that suddenly you are to uh, realize that uh, your methods of tackling with either project or with either relationship or anything that it is substantial for you right now are uh, rather um, either outdated or they are not the right methods that you're using. So that means that you are going to completely change your game completely change your uh, strategy here, which is going to be difficult for you to do. So as you can see here, it's more like uh, this week, how beneficial or how positive this week is going to be for you. It does depend, you know, how willing you are to abandon outdated standpoints, outdated um, expectations, you know, or, or concepts and ideas and readopt those ideas according to the situation. Now, be before we go into all that, let's and scrutinize the reading. Let's move, run down the cards one more time. So the first one is the hangman, which is the topic, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges of the nine of wands. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the uh, chariot card here. And then the last one, it is the guidance that it is the ten of wands. Okay, so hangman everybody knows that this card represents blockage it represents delays it represent it represents usually struggle and like a um a futile efforts of want to do something you know or want to push on something uh in their environment and that is due to the fact that the hangman usually signifies that one needs to tackle the issue from a different angle, from a different perspective, with different strategies, with, with, with different perspective to things. So what that week really is, is simultaneously for you a breakthrough and as well a test. So this week is a test of you how agile you are to reach your goal and as well um, uh, you know how adaptable you are as well to the situation and also it's a breakthrough showing that should you uh, be capable to obtaining this different perspective of the world of your marriage of your career of of you of, of anything that you are facing a dead end with you know then the breakthrough imminently comes around just to tell you what i mean here it is that let's say that you are um kind of feeling stuck into your career right 
and you are working as a, uh, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, engineer, I will say engineer, okay? So you're feeling stuck in there, like there is no progress, but that is because you're trying to push your career with the same means, right? Let's say you're working into the uh, electrical industry engineering. Well, you know, maybe you need to approach the situation from a little bit of a different angle. Like for example, heavy industry, he heavy industry engineering or a different company, all right? Or the point is that the, where you're finding yourself at, the current ways of how you try to push the things forward it's it's no longer work so you will need to readopt a new strategies the accompanied card here is going to be the moon formation it is a uh, passive passive supporters excuse me and that doesn't make it much easier guys because um, the moon card usually reflects uh, a sense of insecurity and a sense of uh, of um well, how you say when one is in limbo, that one doesn't know where where their life is and where their life is taking on from now on. No different than, uh, for example, that you are, that you can't detach from your family. You work, you know, you you uh, you have a pretty good. Um, uh, a pretty good income and pretty good circumstances to leave your family, I mean a mother and father, and to start living on your own, but you are feeling insecure doing it so, and so every attempt you are trying to do uh, in regards to this endeavor, you know, being independent, fails because you don't see yourself living without your family, okay? So you have to see this, the things from different perspective. Living without your family gives you freedom, gives you chance to start new family and all these kind of stuff. So that kind of a different perspective I am talking about. Same thing goes in regards to your career. So the next one here, it is the challenge that you need to overcome. Nine of ones, well, in this case, is all the necessary changes and the necessary approach you need to make into your environment. Now, obviously, you have to change something with yourself, with your habits, with your strategy, and all these kind of stuff. The thing is that this thing is not going to change on its own accord. This card here points that if you are waiting for the right circumstances for you to make your move, it doesn't get any right than that, all right? Uh, the circumstances on their own accord are right enough, and from there, you have to do your part, okay? And that is the challenge, to realize that from now on, you have to do your part, because no one else will be able to traverse this two meters before the the um the finish line here all right it's like any someone or something carried you to the finish line but you actually have to be the one who traverses it and these are the hardest two steps that you will have to make in your life no different than um, let's say you um you become aware that someone likes you very much okay and they want to be with you, right? But um, with these cards, it seems that you are expecting that person to do everything uh, for this to happen, all right? And should you want them to be with you, well, they made their part and now it's time for you to do your part, okay? And for that reason, you need to look at the things from a different perspective. No different than, for example, if you are a woman and you expect that the man is going to do everything, like calling you every day, asking you out for a date. No, if you want that man, you have to ask them for a date. What I mean is that you women want to be equal with the man in the society. Well, you have to do equal responsibility. Isn't that right? I mean, it's just how equilibrium works so at least this is my standpoint okay so the uh, accompanied card here is going to be the tree of swords formation it is a active friends and we're talking about more like shame and a point of um well i don't know if it is a shame uh, it's more like shyness, all right? It's not a shame, but it is a shyness. And like uh, a standpoint where when you uh, change your perspective, change your positions, you know, and, and, and change your standpoint, you may be criticized for that or people may try to shame you for it. That should be the last thing that you, uh, that you need to cling on because it shouldn't matter what people think about you or, or how people take you as long as you are capable, you know, to change your circumstances 
circumstances and to reach the breakthrough that the week is offering to you. Caring for what people think of you, it's not going to help you in any way. It just makes you slave to the people's opinion. This is what these cards are pointing here. Yes, you are going to be well criticized for the changes that you are trying to do in order to uh, stir again, you know, your life and your situation in this week, August 5th to August 11th, 2019. The, company, the uh, next card, which is the positive aspect of the week, it is the chariot. So positive thing about the chariot is that the chariot always rewards the, the hard work, right? It always gives you the look of the hard work and eventually points that to a wish fulfillment. But not before one puts the effort behind it. The chariot is like <clears throat> the pre-jump the pre-leap of, of a career endeavors or of a uh, relationship empathizement as well. The chariot it is like one sits against all odds and one proves everybody and the world wrong that the world and everybody else mock the one that the one is not going to be able to make it happen, but you do. No different that if we're following the example here that you're trying to detach your family, well, your family is pretty cocky that you will not be able to deal with life without them. Well, you prove them completely wrong that as a matter of fact, you are a grown person, mature person. And now it's time for you to just be yourself, you know, and take care for a new family that you are yet to establish. That is just an, an example here. But the thing with this card is that being solo or rather like contributing solo for your well-being gives the best results because with the chariot, you need to engrave your own signature, which makes me think that probably up until this moment, you have followed someone else's rules or someone else's expectations, let's say, or someone else's strategies, guys. And probably this is the way, this is why you are um, now finding yourself into this dead end situation. But and, and it's time for you to start making up your own strategy. And it's completely normal to feel insecure about it because probably it's the first time for you. But, you know, someone uh, uh, someone should start from somewhere. What I mean is that eventually, you know, you have to start from somewhere, right? Otherwise, you are a slave to someone else's agenda here. The accompanied card that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles <clears throat> formation. It is a active friends that we do have. So with the Queen of Pentacles, you have to, you are to become aware throughout this week how huge potential you do have and how much undervalued you are, either from your partner into your career, into your relationship, or into your marriage, or from your boss into your career. And they alone are restricting you from this dead end situation. And that's why now it's time for you to take the in your own hands and show them that they're wrong. They're wrong. It's it's simple as that. And like we said, you're going to be criticized about it, all right? But that should not be a prerequisite for you to quit proving everybody around that you are more capable that, than anybody thought that you are. So the last card that we do have for you, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering, and that is the Ten of Wands. So what the Ten of Wands here shows is that, yes, it's a lot for you to take on. Yes, it's a lot for you to swallow. But what is going to be the result of all that, really? Well, it's going to be um, not dominions, but a um, power, right? It's going to be influence and dominions as well. It's going to be where you take control over everything. As you can see that this person is taking control over the ones. The ones are a symbol of power. So you seize power over yourself over your situations in this reading, I would say really over your life. Now, of course, this means that you will have to take care of some chores that someone else took care for you beforehand, like for example, your family, like for example, your wife, your husband, your boss. Well, now it's time for you to become a boss for yourself, okay? And to face all the pros and cons from it. And I firmly believe that you are going to like it at the end of the day. The accompanied card, it's here. It's the tower. So the formation, it is a active uh, supporters. Like I said at the start, it's not going to be easy at all. All right. Uh, it does point that you are going to face uh, there a predicaments in situations that uh, as you start moving according to your own personal plans and agenda, that is, that you are not familiar with, that you have little experience 
And this is the whole definition of a transformation. You are going to start transforming yourself into something more solid, into something bigger. All right. And this transformation all involves you facing predicaments that you haven't faced before, that places you into awkward position, that places you into a, a difficult situation, but a, a situation which will allow, allow you to learn. What? Well, to learn how to tackle with your own life. Okay. So pretty intense week, a week of a huge awakening, a week of a, uh, how can I place it? A week of a uh, surge of independence, I may say, you know, and it's a week of braveness as well. You being brave to, even if it may cost your comfort zone, you willing to walk toward the unknown, knowing that the unknown is yours to take, rather than to be satisfied with the trifles of what someone else's comfort zone gives you. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, uh, August 5th to August 11th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.